that for later.
decent work keeping the city safe. up these goods can you help me don't forget to just stock a you. moment of your time please you're the one the vanguard has been crowing about the nora who tracks criminals and traitors with her second sight if only you'd use it to help me a thief raided my home and took my brother's sword why would someone steal the sword it's priceless Made from the burnished antler of a lancehorn, finely inlaid with studded stones all down the... Uh, okay, I get it. Forgive me. That's not even why it's important. The Twelfth Sun King gave it to my brother for his military service. He was killed in battle during the liberation. I was saving it for my nephew who stranded at Sunfall with the Karja in shadow. How did your nephew wind up in Sunfall? Most of the old clergy backed the Mad Sun King, so when he fell, they ran out of fear of retribution. As an honor guard to a venerable priest, my nephew had no choice but to go with them. Now that my brother is gone, my nephew is my heir, so that sword really belongs to him. And after all he's been through, I won't be able to look him in the face if I don't get it back. Tell me about the robbery. Don't leave anything out. It was brazen and professional. They took only the sword, my most valuable possession. The thief went out through the window and scared the shadow off my steward. Otherwise, it would have been a clean getaway. I'll see what I can do about the robbery. Have a word with my steward if you need to. He saw the thief escape. And listen, all I want is the sword back. Meridian, and my family for that matter, has seen enough strife already. If I can get it back, all is forgiven. No retribution necessary. No one goes into the palace without an invitation. Greetings, Aloy. I am known as Blameless Marad. Please come with me. You are needed for an important consultation. What do you mean? Where's Erend? He's inside, attending the Sun King. Where we should be, without further delay. That's good. I have something urgent to tell the King. Then you shall have your chance. Follow me, please. All of these people are here to see the Sun King. Yes, and each has come to ask a favor of him. Unpleasant, but that's politics. The Sun King is eager to meet you, the machine tamer with a curious eye for detail. It's all very intriguing. I'm not here to intrigue you. Too late. First the Osaram gets special treatment, and now outlanders what from the savage interest could the Sun King have in her? Passed by some outlander woman? Unacceptable. I've been here for two hours, and Miss Nora goes to the front of the line. Ignore them. 
Nobles are like children who whine when they don't get a second helping of dessert. What's the Sun King like? The most important thing is what he isn't like. His father. I think you'll find him to be a reasonable man. Aloy of the Nora. She who sees the unseen. Welcome. It would seem you have done me a great service. Erend, tell her what you found. I, I checked Ursa's tomb. You were right, Aloy. The body is missing a scar below her right knee. I gave it to Ursa when we were kids, fighting over a toy sword. If the body is not Ursa's, then we must assume she is still alive. And I will not abandon her. We only know she was taken, not who took her. I can help with that. Ursa has an enemy among the Oseron. A warlord named Durval. Impossible. Every clan in the claim has been hunting for him since the liberation. He has to be dead by now. No other Oseron had the motive and ingenuity to lure Ursa into this trap. I expect to find him lurking somewhere near the border. I've already sent an agent to investigate. He'll be waiting for word from us at the marketplace in Pitchcliffe. I can't move troops to the border without provoking the Asaram. But I could send a few vanguardsmen. And perhaps an exceptionally gifted Nora as well. Errant, Murad. Let me discuss it with her privately. I hate to impose further after all you've done. But this is a matter of great importance to me. It sounds like Ursa means a lot to you. Without her Asaram vanguard, I would not have been able to liberate Meridian and end my father's brutal reign. Since then, it has been difficult to maintain peace between our tribes. But Ursa has a way of making her people see reason. So you see, I need her back at my side. And quickly. I'd like to ask you something about the Sundom and its politics. By all means. They call you a sun god who killed his own father in order to unite the tribes in harmony. Is any of it true? They say you can see the invisible, split an arrow at 50 paces, and tame machines at a glance. How much of that is true? It's not too far off. Well. I would like to unite the tribes in harmony, but you saw how many courtiers I have to deal with first. Maybe next week. Your politics seem very complicated. The Asaram are friends, but enemies too? I couldn't have liberated Meridian without the help of Ursa and her Asaram freebooters. Many of them have settled here. But the Eldermen of the Asaram clans and the Claim have become jealous of their success. So have many Karja nobles. It's a volatile situation, especially given the fact that my father raided the Asaram for years. Ursa helps keep the peace, promising a future based on mutual gain. But some, like Durval, will never let go of their venom. What can you tell me about the Shadow Karja? What do they have to do with Ursa? They are remnants of my father's regime, holding out at the fortress of Sunfall to the west. Like him, they care only for domination, and seek to draw upon the power of the sun by spilling blood in its name. Since Ursa helped me take this city from them, they were perfect scapegoats. Durval knew this, of course, and planned it well. Quite a place you've got here. You can almost see the little people below the mesa. You don't approve? Well, I have a secret for you. Neither do I. But we must be patient. Change won't come in a single sunrise. But will it happen at all, while men live in palaces? It might. Eventually. 
if people like you help me bring it about. Who is Durval exactly? To understand Durval, you must first understand my father. He truly thought of himself as a sun god. His mind was broken. He believed that blood sacrifice would solve, well, everything. So he raided the other tribes for victims, especially the Asuran. Durval fought back. He crafted powerful weapons and rallied his people. My father responded with the ultimate cruelty. He captured Durval's wife and daughter and sacrificed them in the Sun Ring. The killers who attacked the Nora. I've discovered that they're a faction of Shadow Karja called the Eclipse. They're digging up ancient weapons, machines that corrupt and control other machines. They want to use them to strike Meridian. I've been to their base, due west of here, in the mountains. When they come, it will be from that direction. But the thing is, they're not coming for the city itself. It's difficult to explain, but the real target is the Spire. If they get it, they'll raise more of these ancient machines from the ground, more than we'd ever be able to stop. What you're saying echoes reports I've received from Marad, a Shadow Karja splinter group, corrupted machines across the land. When will this attack come, do you know? I'm... Not exactly sure. I will order reinforcements to the fortifications along the western bluff of the city. As for the Spire, I shall endeavor to protect it. But not at the expense of Meridian itself. But it will be soon. Any day now. And we will do what we can to prepare. But in the meantime, Ursa is my highest priority. Please, help me find her. So, why would Durval go to so much trouble to kidnap Ursa? He felt she betrayed him. She fought by his side until she realized he planned to raise Meridian and butcher its people. Then she came to me. Together, we stopped him and liberated the city from my father. Durval has spent every moment since trying to get revenge. Mostly on the other Asuram who fought with us. He made so many powerful enemies, I thought we'd seen the last of him. I was wrong. I need to get going. I know. Well, they say kings should never beg. But please, help me find Ursa. Who says that? Well, Murad, for one. Don't hesitate to ask him or Erend if you have further questions.
machines or bandits try to get past me, they'll have to fight. Don't even think about it. This isn't up to their usual standards. was better last week. Oh, you're in the street. It's quite... them soon enough. Must be Pitchcliff. Murad's agent should be at the marketplace by now. Warning. Sign of Marat's guy. He's had plenty of time to investigate. We'd better look for him. Damn right.
Maybe my focus will see something. Well, someone left here recently, and they were in a hurry. Has to be Murad's guy. Durval's thugs must have made him. Maybe because he found something. Look at this. I think he drew a map with his own blood. Right. Those kind of maps you know you better follow. That might be Pitchcliff. He marked a spot to the north. Could be Durval's location. And my men are waiting outside of town. I'll grab them and meet you there. Look out below! Machines. Looks like they've been chained up. Durval's a tinker. He probably experiments on them or, or strips them for parts. Maybe I can use them to make some trouble. I'll go in first. Hold off until the fighting starts. All right. We've got your back. Men. It's about to get over here. 
Intruders! Unleash the machines! Put their chains! Gotcha now! Val says you gotta eat dirt. Right. Advance! Ursa must be in there. We have to get through. 